Hello good day viewers. In our previous lesson, we have seen the introduction about permutations and combinations. So I have two examples for you in this tutorial. And the first one reads, find the number of permutations of the letters of the word Kano. While the second question reads, find the number of ways first, second and third positions can be taken by 10 number of students in a class. All right, let's start with the first one. Our first question is based on how the word Kano can be rearranged in how many different ways. Kano is a four letter word and all of these letters are distinct without repetition. So let's assume we want K to be the first letter. We can reshuffle A and O in six different ways. And if we should consider A as our first letter, we have six different ways in which we can arrange K and O. The same thing to N and O. By the end of the day, if you add all of these numbers, you have 24. Therefore, we have 24 different ways in which we can arrange the word Kano. But do we really need to do all of this computation? No, because there are n factorial different ways of arranging n objects, considering n at a time. Therefore, Kano, since n is equal to 4 here, we have 4 factorial, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. And this is equal to 4 times 3, 12 times 2, 24 times 1 is 24 different ways. And we can also apply formula, which says n permutation r equal to n factorial divided by n minus r also factorial. This time around, both n and r are equal because this is what we are taking at a time. And the number is 1, 2, 3, 4. n is also the number 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, this is equal to 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 4, which is 0 factorial. 0 factorial is equal to 1. 4 factorial divided by 1 is still 4 factorial and you can see 4 factorial is 24. This is also 24. So no matter we, you have to get the same value 24. So now let us take the second question. The second question is a class of 10 students. Therefore n is equal to 10. And we want to decide, and we want to find out how many ways first, second, and third position can be taken by this 10 number of students. So R is equal to 3 because we have first, second, and third positions. We are considering only 3 from this 10. Okay. If first position is to be considered, that first position can only be taken among the 10 students. One of them must take that position. So first position is from these 10 people. Second position will be taken among nine students because first position has already been taken by one of the 10 students. So nine people here. And the third position can be taken uh, among the eight students that are left. So how many ways? 10 times 9 times 8. 10 times 9 times 8 will give us the result. 10 times 9 is 90 times 8 is 720 different ways. So we have 720 different ways. And we can also apply our formula. N permutation R equal to N factorial divided by N minus R also factorial. But n is 10, so this is equal to 10 factorial. Divide by n minus r, 10 minus 3, which is 7. 7 factorial. Remember that 10 factorial is the same thing as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 after 1. So we can write it as 10 multiplied by 9, multiplied by 8, multiplied by 7. I can stop here and write factorial because I realize I have 7 factorial here. If you divide by 7 factorial, this will cancel. This, what we have is 
10 times 9 times 8, the same thing, 10 times 9 times 8, which is 720 different ways. So there are 720 different ways in which first, second, and third position can be taken among 10 number of students in a class. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.